In the last video, we looked at matter and its different states. Now, we're going to take a look at how matter can change. This video is sponsored in part by Blue Ring Education, the makers of Next Generation Science, Metholia and Kids Health Net. We change matter when we cut a stalk of celery, changing its shape. We change matter when we squeeze and squish modelling clay, changing its shape and colour too. We change matter when we cook an egg, changing its structure, texture and colour. Now, have you ever seen snow slowly disappear during the day? Or maybe a puddle of water vanish before your eyes. What you're seeing is not magic, but science in action. It's matter changing state. Matter changes state when it is either heated or cooled. Let's take a closer look. Let's place a block of ice into a dish on an electric hot plate. Ice is water in a solid state. As the hot plate heats the ice, it begins to change. It melts into water. Water is in a liquid state. As the water is heated further, it changes state again. It changes from liquid water to water vapour. Water vapour is a gas. Although we can no longer see the ice cube, the matter has not been lost or destroyed. It has changed state from a solid to a liquid and to water vapour in the air. Matter can also change when it is cooled. The water droplets you see on a cold aluminium can is caused when water vapour in the air around the can cools. And the water you place in a freezer changes into ice when it's cooled. The different processes that take place as matter changes state have special names. Here we have solid ice, liquid water and gaseous water vapour. When a solid is heated, it changes into a liquid. This process is called melting. When a liquid is heated, it changes into a gas. This process is called evaporation. When a gas is cooled, it changes into a liquid. This process is called condensation. And when a liquid is cooled, it changes into a solid. This process is called freezing. OK, let's see what you've learned. Time for a quick quiz.
don't forget to subscribe.